probably here. I'm probably the most wanted man on the beach at the moment. It's that time of the year when the big black wings laying their eggs, sw swooping. Jesus Christ. Yeah, as soon as that oyster catcher starts making that noise, it alerts the big girls. The big black wings go absolutely nuts. One of them comes from the nest. One of them comes from a rock on the other side of the beach. And if you're not careful, they'll bomb dive you. Literally bomb dive you. So, little tip this time of the year, watch out where you put your feet. Watch out for any higher kind of rocks with nests on them. And just also watch your back, man. These guys are like the Messerschmitts of the beach, man. They all come from any angle and da -da 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 Made the, whoa, man, Jesus. Watch it, mate, watch it, Shag, I'm watching you. Those little oyster catchers are crazy as well. Anyway, we've got a fast moving weather system that's coming from the southeast. It's been moving through France all day, very slowly. There's little to no wind at all. The wind's gonna probably come up to about 13 miles per hour, but that's literally nothing. This weather system, it's on its way here now. Got the jacket on, got the shorts on, got the trainers on. No need to put the waders on, you're gonna get wet. I don't wanna get sweaty. It's a quick in and out if we need to be. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flick some lures, probably some sagayas, uh, some surface lures, and just find out what the fish are popping on. Probably start off with a, I just don't recommend having a box like this, but huh, who cares? Probably use a weedless sagaya probably to start. It's a thin streamlined kind of metal, so it's not gonna flutter too much, it's more for drilling. Then I've got like a softy kind of sand deal, do livey looking plastic weedless, and that's actually attached just by a splitty. What that's gonna do is that's gonna fly out and that's gonna cause a lovely seesawry, wavy action. Fish go mental for them. Sagaya, it's a northern Portugal kind of method used in the surf. Me and my mates have been using them the last couple of years uh, to some seriously good effect, to have some really good sessions where these are just out and out standout killers. You can make them yourself with old metals, it doesn't matter if there's any shine on it, it's more that profile and that little bit of vibration it gives. Any other lure, even a lure that just doesn't look like it's going to catch fish, will catch fish. Zagaya. Zagaya! Probably go on to some kind of surface lures, I love this colour. Depending if there's any bait fish around, maybe that might be a little bit too heavy, but when the tide comes up, yeah, that kind of vibe. Or just your basics. One of my favourite lures. Spindle worms. Let's see how it goes. Right, I've had nothing on the surface there, nothing on the metal, nothing on a small soft plastic sand deal like that I'd usually go for. So we'll go for the Zagaya next. Just straight wind it, nothing else. First cast, one hit. Let's see if we can change that. Big cast. Do the best dance, do the best dance. Ah! 
five hits on that car. Absolutely ludicrous. And again. Yeah, boy! Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hail the Sagaya! Man, there's so many fish out there, so I'm going to get this thing straight back in there. As you can see, it's hot dog size, so... So many fish were chasing me on that. The cast, was, the cast before I had five attempts at the lure. That one, two, but one of them was much more aggressive. Just straight wind this bit, straight wind it. Oh, there you go, smaller fish. Oh no, he's off. Oh no. Smash my lure. If you get one big enough, we'll do a nice little catch and cook. Don't feel this pack in particular are uh, big fish at all. These are just scaldies just rounding up. Oh yes, there you go. Oh! Yeah, boy! The guy is a guy! Pop it off. We've got one more cast on this rock because the water's starting to cut my, cut my entrance out, so be careful, but I want one more fish from here. Come on, baby. Now I wish I had my LRF rod. This would be insane. Oh, you see that? Learn it hit in the face. Woo! It's Gaia! So many fish here. There you go. Oh. Instant! I need a small one again. Great fun though, come on. Going from hot dog size to burger size now, getting smaller. Right, we gotta get off this rock. Come on! A little bit heavier, but uh, probably small. Just another burger bun. I'm going to show you what the Zagai looks like in the water. So good. The metal gives it a lovely little flash. And then with the added worm at the end, it looks absolutely incredible. Give it a try. Get an old metal. Get a softy. Get a weedless. Get a split ring. Join it all up.
bang it out. You've seen what it's done. Lovely little lure, very versatile, very easy to use, straight wind. Does the absolute job. Yeah, boy. Just before I need to vacate this rock, last couple of points on using the Zaggy or the Zagaya. Small chuck away metal, any kind of straight tail soft plastic. Weedless, don't go too big, you don't want to lose that action. Split ring, and a normal clip, and that is the perfect lure. Slow retrieve, no rod swipe in, no side to side motion needed, just a straight slow retrieve, and that actually does all the damage itself. Boom.